So this is going to be just a really quick tour of my veggie garden. So this is the first year that we've set this up. We took out a whole big patch of Kaikuyu lawn in this whole part. And we've put in all these planters and you can see the chickens in the background over there having their breakfast. So down here I've got strawberries and these are my cauliflower and in amongst my cauliflower I've started planting silver beet. This is all going to be real trial and error because look I'm, I'm new to this kind of level of gardening and then along the edge I have sunflowers and I have that in every all of the garden beds because how good are sunflowers and I kind of figured it would bring in some pollinators then in this next garden bed I have some Bunnings special spinach along here and this is something this is a this is a wild one I'm guessing it's a pumpkin oh, it's probably from the compost that was underneath I'll, I'll do a video about how I did the planters and all of that stuff later uh, in here are some eggplant which I transplanted from seed that I started growing in the greenhouse they're not doing great the same with these are capsicum in here which are also not I don't know I might put some seeds in here and try them again some things seem to do good starting from seedling in the greenhouse like the cauliflower over there and the sunflower oh no the sunflowers are straight in the ground anyway another thing's not so much so this is corn and these were started in the greenhouse as well and oh my god look at what's happening here look is that corn i don't know i've never grown corn before like is that a head of corn these are doing really well. I'm pleased with those. I wonder if I'll actually get corn off them. I did put some more corn seeds, corn kernels, I guess. Oh, here's the cat. I did put some more corn in there, but that hasn't actually germinated. Oh, well, more sunflowers. There's Puss. She loves the garden. She loves the chickens. I'll do a whole video about the chickens later. They're a whole other wonderful story. Um, this here is the tomato patch and we're going with some companion planting here so once again sunflowers and I have a basil plant right in the middle and all of these tomato seedlings which I'm sorry I've put way too many in but I got excited because they grew not wild but they grew from seed from tomatoes we had last year in another place and I transplanted them here some of them look better than others, but... Oh, sorry. Finger on the lens. Anyway, so tomatoes in there. Basil in the middle. And all around the edge, all around the edge of this planter, I've got marigolds. So this is like my companion planting sort of experiment here. Uh, over here is once again a mix of stuff we've got sunflowers again so this is north over this way so I figure the Sun comes in this way most of the day so the whole garden gets Sun pretty good Sun you can see it's got Sun over there a bit of shaded here but eventually it'll all be in Sun the cat is enjoying her cat garden down there that's her cat grass. She's actually eating it, so she loves it. Oh, and there's my shadow, so hi. Um, so in here we have watermelon in the middle. Do, do, do. About one, two, three, four, five, seven watermelon, which sounds like a lot, but this is, um, it's called Sugar Baby. So it's quite a small, compact watermelon. <laughs> At least that's my plan. We'll see. If it grows over, it doesn't matter. It's all experiment who cares and around the edge here because I had 
I figured the watermelons would take a while and these don't, these are radishes because radishes are fun and rewarding because you actually get something fairly quickly and they're starting to starting to sort of look red. I'm not going to harvest them yet, but radishes. You've got to put them in, don't you? And then, uh, that's tomatoes. I've done that. I've even got more tomatoes just growing down here. And parsley. Who knows? I don't know why. I, it must be from the compost that's at the bottom of the plant. There's more tomatoes there. So this is the salad green planter. Down the end here I've got rocket in these two rows. And then that's cos those two rows this is meant to be iceberg here but it just there's a couple of little there but it's just not a couple sort of there iceberg hasn't really come along um this is what's it called mignonette I don't know. something like that it's like a butter leaf i think and then this is mixed leaves these three down here so there's some purple and some sort of butter leaf sort of style lettuce um, there's my chooky chooks. <laughs> this is not technically garden, but I guess it is. That under there is going to be chicken foraging mecca. I'll talk about that another time, but it's just a box I've made and planted some yummy things for you. For you and for you and for you. Yes, lovely girls. Uh, this here is my cabbages. This was another Bunnings special. These were, I can't remember how much they were, but they were cheap for all these seedlings. And I thought, I'll just get them all. I think it cost me $5 in total for all these seedlings. And they just look great. Although I am getting some holes, which is worrying. And I guess that means cabbage moth, does it? I don't know um, any advice on what to do about this situation. Um, but they've been growing really well, so I'll take care of it. And over here is my zucchinis in the middle, which I saw a thing about how you can grow them up tomato towery things. So I'm giving that a go. So there's four zucchini plants in there, and then I added some more cabbages around the side because I had so many of them, and then some flowers down the end. And look. I've actually got little zucchinis, two zucchinis and flowers. And that's it. And that is my garden. Chook, chook, chooks. There we go.